Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toy Escapades channel in Malaysia. Now, we seem to have some new vintage inspired Motu figures coming out in 2023. So, we're going to talk about the images here on the channel today. See how you guys feel about all these new pictures that we're seeing. And also, special thanks to Canal Dos Ross Mineros from Brazil for breaking the news on Instagram. Do give them a follow if you haven't already and check out their channel on YouTube. I'm going to put a link down in the description box for you guys to click on and check out their YouTube page. There's like tons of Masters of the Universe content there. Plenty of stuff for you guys to drool over. Now, according to Canaldos Ross Mineros, this batch of figures have turned up on the ReHappy website in Brazil. Near as I can tell, ReHappy is supposed to be like an online retailer that pretty much looks like a Toys R Us, but for Brazil. Now, for what information is available, the figures look to be about 7 inches in height and come with limited but useful articulation. Now, I'm looking at the He-Man figure here. The first thing that crosses my mind is that he just doesn't look broad enough. He looks scrunched up, like he's compact. You know what I mean? Like squeezed together in a way. Uh, I don't think that you know, this is how I want a He-Man figure to be represented. The thing is, right, it kind of reminds me a lot of those old reaction figures, the ones from Super 7 a couple of years ago. I think they did a Masters line. I don't know whether it's still going on. But I remember seeing the He-Man figure in that one. I was like, holy hell, why the hell is this guy looks so freaking scrawny? Okay, I did a video on it on the channel as well a couple of years back. Talked about how, you know, He-Man looks like he's malnourished, okay? Uh, yeah, that was just a bad call, all right? I mean, it's like they used... The bodies from, I don't know, existing figures. I'm not really sure what happened there. Okay, But the fact of the matter is just that He-Man just didn't look muscular abroad. So this one here is like he's got the muscles and stuff, but he just still looks really, I don't know, lanky, I suppose. Scrawny, okay, in a way. Even though he's got the biceps, but it's just that he's supposed to be really big and bulky. Uh, broader, all right? And I don't really see that here. But look, honestly speaking... That face sculpt that they got on him there, the face sculpt looks really great, okay? I, you know, I posted a picture of it on Instagram as well. The reaction from most people was that, yeah, I mean, everyone seems to love the head sculpt. Some people even said that it's probably like the best head sculpt they've ever seen on either Origins or Masterverse He-Man. Well, look, I mean, this particular expression, I got to give it to you. I mean, it's pretty much very unique. It's an expression that we've pretty much never seen He-Man have. Usually, He-Man's baring his teeth, okay, like a little bit of his teeth. But this one, his mouth's closed and he's just like contemplating. It's like he's calm, but you know that he could just erupt into violence at any moment, all right? So, it's a very different look for him. It's just a very uh, subtle look. You know, but you know that, you know, he's ready to go at any time. So He-Man's face is the big winner here. And, uh, but it's not enough to save it from the rest of the figure, okay? Because then you walk your way down, you know, to where his belt buckle area is and where the furry shorts are supposed to be, the thigh area. I just, I, I hate the whole section, okay? That whole area there just doesn't do it for me. I just feel that, I mean, this was like probably like the standard body type they were going to go with. And um, I just feel that this whole area needs to be reworked somehow, is it possible? Can we still do it? No, I don't think so. But maybe for the next wave, okay? It's just that that whole section there just doesn't work for me. And um, he does come with one accessory, the power sword, of course, okay? No shield, no axe, and okay? But this is probably like a budget-friendly kind of line, I suppose. However, I do feel that the amount of articulation is surprisingly generous. The reason why I say that is that he comes with ball-jointed shoulders, Okay, that's already like a huge win right there. Anytime you got a station where there's ball jointed shoulders, it's instantly better than most of the stuff from the 1980s, okay? So, uh, you know, whatever else he comes with, I think it's, it's you know, excusable as long as he's got those ball jointed shoulders. Now, uh, he does appear to have articulation, of course, at the neck. I don't think it's a ball joint there and it just turns from left to right. And definitely his legs can move up and down. I'm not really sure if there's any waist articulation though. I'm thinking probably not, right? But like I said, you know, whatever is available here is pretty generous for what this is. And overall, I think that um, this could have been much more promising. I just feel like the He-Man figure just seems like a letdown in so many ways. However, that head sculpt is pretty fantastic. And I can probably imagine that this thing could be customized in some way. Probably the head could be popped off and you know reused on, I don't know, a Masterverse body. We're just going to have to wait and see. Okay, next up, we've got the images here of Skeletor. Somehow, at first glance, Skeletor looks a whole lot better. Maybe it's because of the heavy armor sections on his chest, which basically cover up most of his skinny upper body frame, I guess. And also, definitely on the loincloth area, okay, that whole armored section there just manages to cover up 
those hideous shots all right so this one on first glance it kind of looks a lot better he's got the power sword there as an accessory the twist would be if the power sword combines with he-man's okay yeah what about that i mean what if they made it like that i don't know okay but on the back of the figure here you see that uh, there's something interesting here all right you can see clearly that the straps on the armor can actually be removed just like the vintage and uh, that means that that's a separate piece although I mean, I'm not really sure if you want to do that, okay? Because <laughs> the body underneath there doesn't look that great. But however, I mean, it's an interesting option, okay, to have. So, you know, this thing's coming with uh, like a whole lot more stuff. I guess the armor on He-Man that we saw earlier as well, that could be removed too. And uh, there's just one thing about this figure. I just don't understand what is with the facial expression that he's got here. Uh, why did they choose to go with this particular look for him, okay? Because honestly, he just looks fucking sedated okay i mean like he's like drugged up right? it's just like a really calm expression for skeletor i mean i don't know if it's supposed to be terrifying you know it's like subtle evil but yeah i mean it's just you know it's a little bit off-putting uh just not something that we're really used to but it's definitely vintage inspired and it does have a certain sense of uniqueness to it as well i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see you know, if we get this thing in hand for ourselves and see how it turns out, if that ever happens, all right? But uh, this is definitely a more interesting take on Skeletor. But the difference, I think, between the head sculpts that we've been getting so far for Skeletor from Origins and Masterverse versus those of He-Man is that the Skeletor head sculpts have mostly been pretty excellent. Definitely, okay? I mean, I can name you like maybe just three right now. Just write to me, okay? Yeah, you know, I'll probably tell you right now which are my three favorite all-time Skeletor head sculpts from Origins of Masterverse. So there hasn't really been a huge demand in that area. And as such, I think that this head sculpt seems like a bit of a letdown, okay? It's like a step backwards. But again, let's, you know, just get in our hands first. Next up, we've got Merman. Now, Merman here is probably the best-looking figure in this entire first batch of four. I don't know, man. It just looks really easy on the eyes. Okay, it's easily translatable, mainly it's because he's got the classic head sculpt there. It isn't reworked or, you know, revised or anything like that, like how we saw with He-Man and Skeletor. Uh, it's just the classic head sculpt that we got since, like, the vintage figure, all right? In fact, they use the same face sculpt, uh, well, probably not the exact same one, but it's got the same look, same expression as the one that's on the vintage and also the Origins Wave 3 figure. And then later, they reworked it again for the Wave 5 Origins Lots of Power release, but this is still the classic head sculpt. And uh, the translation here looks really great. The detailing, the paint apps, everything here just seems to work. Everything seems to flow really well. And what's interesting here is that the armor that he's got on seems to be like a blend uh, with the lots of power armor. Okay, so this looks to be like a cross between the vintage figure and also the lots of power concept version. So, you know what? This thing is going to some pretty interesting areas. I really do like the look of this merman figure. I'm okay if I just got him, probably, right? for the collection and i'm disappointed to see that he doesn't come with an accessory uh where's the sword right probably you know the other figures in the wave other than the key big ones like he-man skeletor maybe those don't actually come with anything they're just figures by themselves well i'm not sure okay i guess we're gonna have to wait and see but then we get down to man at arms which is also very heavily vintage inspired now i think that i know what the problem with these figures are just by looking at man at arms like this it's like the shoulders are dropping too much okay he looks like he's slouching all right they should never have sculpted the body frames to be like this okay heroes are supposed to have their shoulders raised all right they don't slouch okay they don't look hunched over and stuff like that and it just makes him look a little bit sloppy i think the work on the armor looks great okay all the revised sections here on his left arm you see how they reworked the whole arm section there with the armor attached to it and i think all that work looks great okay the detailing looks nice uh, but you know what? The body frame just lets down the whole package, right? But having said that, the face cup again is a total winner, okay? This is the classic vintage man at arms head, the one that's moustacheless, right? And uh, they went back to that, okay? So they just skipped the whole Origins era where man at arms had a moustache back on again. So they went back to the vintage. I think that all across this whole wave, the head sculpts are fantastic, except maybe for that skeletal head, okay? Like I said, he still looks tranquilized or something like that. But yeah, overall, I mean, you see elements of strong quality in these figures. I'm not really sure what these figures are supposed to be. You know, are they supposed to be exclusive to Brazil? 
are they meant uh, for worldwide? But one thing about the packages, as you can see here, it says uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So you know that that's a clear indication that this is an international release. Uh, maybe there's a batch for international, so a batch for the rest of the world. I don't know. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, these do turn up, okay, at some point so I can actually see them in person. Whether or not I actually want to collect them is another issue. But I want to hear from you guys what you guys think about this collection. Do you think that it has a place in your current collection of Masters Universe figures or do you think that there's just too much out there? Hit me up in the comments, let me know, and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content right here. Thank you and take care out there.